What's going on y'all, it's the Kid J. Nolan here. Hey man, before we get into anything in this video, make sure that you like and share it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get all updates. Hit the post notification bell. All right y'all, let's get into it. Cardi B is continuing to keep her foot on the neck of Tasha K, man. It's not looking good for Miss Tasha. She's showing up in goddamn commercials, advertisements on YouTube. She's doing her own YouTube channel. She got a website with subscriptions, people paying all this money. Unfortunately, it does not look like she's going to keep very much of it, if any of it at all. Good God, this is what happens when you spread false rumors about people. They try to get you to stop and you just keep pressing forward. You hit the gym acting like you're training for a boxing match. Now you fighting for your life. As y'all know, for all of those rumors and things that were spread, all of the harassment Tasha K was found guilty of, we all know she owes Cardi B approximately $3 million. She's probably never going to recover these funds, probably never going to be able to pay it off. However, Cardi B is making sure that whatever she brings in, she wants those funds redirected to her deposit account. Cardi B just asked the court for permission to seize a five figure sum from Tasha K to start paying her debt. Tasha K has repeatedly said that she has no intentions of paying Cardi B. She even tried to file an appeal that will work in her favor. That was unsuccessful. She tried to come out and say that she only had about $1,000 left in her account at JP Morgan Chase. Cardi B said, I don't give a up. You need to send it my way and figure out the rest later. Cardi B has also filed a notice to Google who owns YouTube saying, hey, y'all paying her off this ad money on YouTube. Whatever she got in there, I need y'all to hold on to it so that I can get my money. A rep for Google told Cardi that Tasha K has about $9,304 owed to her coming from YouTube. Cardi now wants the court to order that those funds be handed over to her immediately. You got nearly 10 racks coming in. I'ma need all that. I'ma be honest, man. I don't rejoice in anybody's downfall. I don't wanna see anybody broken, have to get it out the mud if they don't necessarily have to. It just goes to show you, man, pride and ego will always be the fall of mankind. When you had the opportunity to stop spreading vicious lies and rumors about somebody, you didn't want to. When they sent you a cease and desist telling you to take down the videos, take down the content in which you were besmirching their name, talking about their children, the sacred nature of their relationship and marriage, all of these things you did not want to oblige. People gave you multiple opportunities to atone for your sins and you wanted to stand on that rock alone. You wanted to die on that hill. So now that the sword is being driven through your heart, you cannot ask for sympathy. You must live with what you created. I know it's got to be a long and hard journey for Tasha K, especially because she has somewhat of status when it comes to people's perception of her. So she can't go and get a job at Burger King, Kroger. She ain't going to be pushing shopping carts and shit like that. Niggas going to be documenting her ass every day. She can't get an office job. People going to have something to say about that. So now what are you left with other than continuing to make content and forwarding all of your incoming funds? to the one person that you decided to disrespect for almost two years. How the mighty have fallen. We all know that Cardi B does not need the money in any type of capacity. This is all about standing on business and principles. Unfortunately, Tasha K has to face the music with that. And I'm sure Cardi B's probably got people watching Tasha K's website, seeing how those subscriptions are adding up. They're probably going to be making a motion to seize on that through whoever she's running her website with. It's definitely going to get a lot uglier before the sun comes out, but I do wish her the best. Tasha K, hold your head up. In the words of DMX, it's dark and hell is hot. Let me know what you guys think of this down below in the comments. Be sure to like and share this video. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the post notification bell for all updates, and I will see y'all on the next one, all right? Much love and respect. Y'all stay safe. Keep your mouth shut if you don't know what you're talking about. Peace. Beautiful people, thank you for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed the content. Make sure that you're liking and sharing these videos. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the post notification bell so you get all updates. For all of my artists, 
my artist managers, songwriters, producers, etc. If you need a little bit of extra help with your career, man, make sure that you visit pingameelite.com, okay? That's my website and my community for all upcoming rising music creators. I got two books on there, The Pin Game Portfolio Volume 1 and 2. They're going to give you a lot of insights into the music industry, how to monetize your career, how I make my money off of music because I am a full-time artist outside of doing YouTube videos. If you need some direct help, you can also book a consultation with me on the pin game elite website and i also have a pin game elite membership the free tier gives you access to all of these videos that i post on youtube and a community of people where you can engage but i do have the membership plus okay you can join that for 50 dollars a month or 500 dollars a year and i will actually go in and do all of the grunt work for you if you're not registering your songs on your pros if you're not with song trust or the mlc if all your collection agencies and all of that stuff are not up to par or up to date, I will go in there and update all of that for you. If you need help uploading your music to a distributor like DistroKid, United Masters, etc., and you've been making mistakes, you've been claiming content ID on material that you really don't own, hey man, stop stealing people's money. If you do this stuff the right way, you're gonna make it anyway, okay? You could join the membership plus, and again, I will do the work for you, and you're gonna get a free consultation every month just for joining. You're also gonna get the two books for free as soon as you join the membership plus. All right. Much love and respect. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.